Greetings, I am Max. And I am Scandal. And let's, let's play, play a game, game together. together. We're, we're just not going to be dating anymore, dragons. I right, know have anxiety. anxiety. Let's date it. No, let's have a crisis together. together. Let's let's have a, an identity crisis Also, together. again, though, I'm like, I understand, like, your point is dating. Like, sometimes I actually get really confused where people are like, I want to have this really intense story and do all these things. I'm like, okay. So, like, pick something? Then? Maybe just write that story, and if romance happens to be in it, do that. Right? So, one of the things that I've said before is that, for me, a romance feels way easier to write than a non-romance book. Um, right. Especially, like, a first-person romance book, because uh -huh. first-person is easier for me as, as, an, as an author. The idea of it is easier, and a lot of people have said try writing in first-person if you're having trouble with it, because you can only focus on what the character's focusing on. Right. So it helps limit your scope, so you don't have to decide what to describe, who to describe, However, whatever. As we both have actually pointed out, though, there are several authors who literally cannot stop themselves, even from doing first-person perspectives, where your character abruptly knows knowledge that you've never, like, Establish they know at all. I was say, or they'll just sit there describing the woodwork for hours, except they're not really describing it. Uh -huh. They're just telling the viewer what it is. Uh huh. And you're kind of like so you're going. Does my character care about this? So anyway, um, but that's one of those things. Is the reason that a romance is easier to write, or for me, conceptually easier to write, because you've got your plot is the romance. Yes. Whatever other things you have you going on, you already know on, what's the goal. Is. Yeah, yeah. Whatever else you have going on isn't as important as they're going to end up together. Essentially, again, if it's a romance. So for me, I'm like, yeah, you'll have plot, but that's not the main focus. The plot is just flavor, which is why a lot of these games end up, and a lot of these like books end up the way they do. And you go, there's plot everywhere your world building is out the window are they doing this in a void what even is going on kind right. of thing is because it really is written secondary to that purpose of we're just putting shipping two characters together right but I need to give you a framework for shipping them together anyway yes but your voice was so inviting here we go do you know where these flowers came from yes the dragon world I went and got them for you, special Hi. myself. I flew over there last night. By the way, you were still in here with your light on at like 4 a.m. I almost wasn't able to do this because you know the sun was going to come up and then you could have seen me and that kind of thing. Anyway. I was trying to be your Santa Claus, but with flowers. Yeah, because I love what like... St. Nicholas Flower Claus. It's like, it's like the Easter Bunny Claus, I think. Easter yeah. Claus. The Easter Claus, because the Easter Bunny does flowers and then they do eggs. They Who do does eggs? flowers? Who does flowers? Oh, it's like your, it's like your Valentine's Claus. That's yeah, Valentine's Claus. Valentine's Claus. So I just, I got you it. You just really like Santa, don't you? I do! He he is adorable okay. and edible! Oh my god. And so also, like, he brings Santa is a nice, powerful man that shows up in your room with a divine ability to tell who's good and who's bad based on some moral, like, arbitration. I can say. <laughs> and he brings you gifts. Like, I having a guy show up costume for me in the middle of the night with gifts because I've been good? I'm for it. I am! Really on it! Sounds like a plan! My dear. I, why would you not like Santa Claus? <laughs> so I'm not as small. Sometimes I forget just how gay you are. I just, <laughs> I really, you know what? You just know who you are. And I love and that, that about you. And that's okay, yes. And also, like, sometimes it's very flattering that you also still would be, like, completely into me. And that it's not angsty for you no. at all. You're just like, I totally do this. We'll wreck everything. You're going to love my boyfriends. That'd be awesome. I'm sure they would love you, too. Some of them will love you, too. And some of them will love you a lot more. Oh! oh. They all love it. Yeah, like, I swear. They like, love I you. like you. I'm, I'm sure they are. Uh, <laughs> yep, and then we'll, like, again, we'll wear, like, our matching outfits. They'll have their matching harem outfits. We look amazing. Amazing standing in front of them. We'll look yes. like we will have we will have an entourage everywhere. We go, you're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. Like it would be great. <laughs> Imagine us just going, Hi. Honestly, I think <sighs> of the three of them, I think I like our head cannons regarding He's the most fun, honestly. And again, he is the most chill. Like what they decided to write for him is unless they like drop a bomb and he also has eggs somewhere, like I what like they got written right for him is that he is just the most chill guy. I'm just trying to achieve this goal. It's the next step in my life. And if you don't marry me, then I know where the next step is. I, anyway, but I should go get through this step first. I got it. I'm badass as hell. I'm, I'm amazing. It's fine. Yeah, it's All right. Oh, what? How do you know, Dragon Prince from the Dragon <laughs> World? <laughs> These are dragon flowers? I, I <laughs> think... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just like... Really? That oh. seems like that seems like a reasonable oh. question, but then you also <laughs> turn around and you go, the dragon world oh. flowers. Okay, okay. Says the dragon okay. man okay. from the dragon kingdom <laughs> of fire. Who's like? Oh. Ta -da! <laughs> he just like slowly so. leans and like. 
raises his arms or gestures at himself, going, ah. Uh, yeah, that whole gesture is just all awesome. him. Going, ah. Yeah. Bounces back and forth. You're waiting, going, but how do you know him? And he's just slowly gesturing to himself, like all of uh, him, like, ah, ha, ha. And you're like, why? And you're like, I. I got to get what like two hours. Of and you're like, what is? Oh, I woke God. up like ten, like two minutes ago, and it's the middle of like the. I only slept like three hours, and I just, my brain's a little what? Like this question suggests she's still completely out of it. She's slow to wake up. She's like, uh huh. How do you know? I'm still <laughs> trying to tie the rope, realizing it's on either upside down yeah. or inside out. Going, shit! I can't <laughs> even. Just wiggling with these How? Why won't this go? Why is this rope so uh, short? Why are you so short? Uh, Phoenix, it's on upside down, actually. <laughs> and you realize, like, I didn't think it was supposed to have this much up on the top. <laughs> Shit, small, standing there with the rope looped over the top of their head, and just like a Jawa kind of thing, and the sleeves on, the sash hanging sadly over their shoulders. <laughs> Good kids. Good Phoenix. Uh, Really cute. You're God, this so is so adorable. adorable. I, like, I feel for you and I want to help. But also, I also like, just want to sit here and like, it's I, in my mind. I want to remember this forever. On, on like, and you're surrounded on by our dragon like, flowers that I brought to you on our from 60th, a dragon. Yeah, on our 60th anniversary, I'm going to get you the exact same flowers and I'm going to get you a robe. That's, I'm going to pull out this robe, this same robe. And you know what? I'm going to be like, do you remember that day? Because you were so adorable. Like, I didn't even know it was it so was cute. So it was so funny. It was so funny. I wanted I to die. Like, you were so tired. I wanted to go somewhere between hug you, die laughing, and just watch it play out. I didn't <laughs> even know which one. I mean, I vaguely, I did vaguely want to help you, but I didn't want to ruin it. It was right, so good. It was so good. good. All right. How do you know? Because... Him just because I brought them here. I, 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 that I, I, little I, smile because I brought them here. Hi. I don't really think he has like a huge smile anyway, because otherwise no. like, he has like a it's little. It's kind of like that patient. <laughs> it's fine. I, uh, it's like that almost distressed of going ha ah, sigh because I brought them. But you're still fine. You're still uh-huh. harmed by it. Still uh-huh. love it. All right. Do you like them? Humans like to give the one they like flowers during dating, right? I studied it. See, we were right. He did study it. He did study it. He looked it up. He's like, look, I've been studying human culture. I leaned over Dylan's shoulder. (laughs) What I did was I went to Dylan's house and I just watched his massive human staff all work together and flirt with each other and talk to each other and things like that. Like, he's got like 70 people. It's a great place to observe humans. And you just, and they all talk to each other and then you learn things. And you know what, man? Those dramas on TV that I've been watching with your grandpa, they don't hold a candle to the shit going on at his house. Like, that no, is like the tele- dr- novella gold over there. <laughs> I love the idea <laughs> that Grandpa and Phoenix sit on a couch and watch telenovelas specifically. <laughs> Gasps in Spanish. <laughs> Yes. Oh my god, that's offended in Spanish. Spanish. Offended it. Like, and then suddenly, like, they get bored. They go watch um, Indian, uh-huh. and, like, operas. Uh-huh. So, and I'm talking about, like, from India, Indian. Yes. So, like, they go and they watch, they watch those Hindi, as well. Hindi, Hindi operas, yeah. Are they Hindi or operas? Or Bollywood or whatever. Uh, like, I guess you could go Somewhere with, like, Bollywood. There. Like, you go watch Bollywood crap. Like, it would be so goddamn it's funny. Good. Oh, god. comes dancing in, you know, like, and, and, uh, like, uh, Hindi Sultan style. Hey, I learned about humans. I got human dating down. Oh, Oh my god, I'm a yes, dress. My hair, I'm amazing. Look at look. Yes. Alright, alright, alright. So, alright, dang, dang, dang. She's like, I'm just... sitting on the couch. Oh, oh no. The corner's on. Oh. <laughs> So good. I also love him sitting at Rai's house, just watching this massive, over, basically overpopulated staff. Because Rai's going, I don't know how many people so you I said need. Dylan. So uh, Dylan. Oh shit, Dylan. It is technically Rai. I meant Rai. I meant Rai. I Rye. apologize. It's Rai's mansion. His big southern ass mansion. It's and his, stupid, his, his his giant army of servants. So I apologize. House. If you had been picturing, you know, um, Dylan, I meant Rai because I was just very excited about the it's idea. It's still pretty bad. It's still pretty bad. Anyways, but because you know, um, Dylan obviously wouldn't have. Of human servants, he'd have dragon world. Oh, servants, yeah, so absolutely, yeah. yeah. It's the wrong one, but I was gonna say, but anyways, just this idea that he's just sitting over there being like, I'm just gonna watch all of you do your drama. Shit. It really is like because uh, it's so like unevenly hired for and handled because you know, uh-huh. he's only got some context for oh, what he needs, God. and people are going, I just need another person, so he just hires another one. I just need another person, I just hires another one, kind of thing. They're all like, it's a mess. Just pay us. Who cares? I'm I gonna sh- get all of my relatives hired on here. All right. <clears throat> So, I got as many as I could find for you, as many as I could carry, as many would fit in your room. I thought about covering your bed, but I thought that would be a little too conspicuous, so I just did the entire floor. Well, I do know about weighted blankets. Weighted, uh, maybe I should have, like, covered your bed. 
it, but they're not. You sleep. They're not usually made with flowers, though. I oh, think. I can make them with flowers. I'm sure. I can do it. We, got, we have some pretty heavy flowers. We yeah, can we do it. Yeah. Have a carpet of flowers. Could That's probably what that is, right? I think so. I think so. So I found as many as I could. Phoenix picks out one flower, winding the stem around my wrist. He shoves his feet through the flowers, just shoof, 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 so he doesn't crush them. Uh -huh. He just sort of parts slowly around his feet and bunch uh -huh. up around him, and then just picks one up. And you know, while he's Without trying to figure out- Without breaking the stem. While you're trying to figure out your rope, he picks up a flexible one because he knows the types of flowers yeah, he's got, right and then wraps it around and makes a bracelet out of it. Uh -huh. He's like, there you go. Oh, let me help you with that rope. Oh, aye. 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 oh shit, right, puts it on. Hang finally. on, let me actually not put the flower on for it. Let me fix your rope and then I put that on. Or he just leaves it on, he just tears it off. He's like, oh, you lost your flower, puts the rose on, does it again. <laughs> just, it's fine, it's fine. Do it again. This fine. I'm rich, I can just waste flowers on that. I it's have fine. a privilege. I said, the thing is, I'm not wasting flowers on you, I'm, I'm adding to I'm you. Use, I'm using them on you, we're experiencing them together. Aye. Uh, it suits you. I, is what's that, with the grump face? Oh, uh, that's it's the, the grumpy, blushy face. face. That's a, uh, uh, See, that's the other thing though that I, I don't... tied it around you, and I went, "Shit, I had to touch you and do something cute." Now I'm embarrassed. All right. I like, I'm also, like, I get sometimes we're being like the big, tough, confident guy, like losing, kind of being like, "Boo, oh, you looks good on you." But I'm cool. also like, I get where that can be cute, but part of me is also like, I kind of wish he wasn't like uh. super. Like, I'll just be kind of awkward of being like, he'd be like, "Wow, I just." It really suits you. Like, it's really, you're really, really cute. Honestly, we should just cover you in flowers. Be really good. That'd be All great. Right. Uh, it's beautiful. Ah, feet covered in flowers, realizing you're crushing half of them because you just flung yourself out of bed. <laughs> and now going, oh shoot. Uh, uh, thank you. But when did you have time to do this? Obviously, while you were sleeping, uh, you oh, were like I, dead, like a log. And I was, I was flower Santa Claus. We've already been through this. Yeah, I did a flower, flower Claus, Santa Claus, a flower times, flower times. Uh, no, Santa times. Santa, Somewhere in there. It's a, a, a Valen Claus. Valen Claus. There we I are. I got Valen Claus. I Valen Claus did up. I, I did it. Yeah. Oh, let's just say I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. Actually, what I did was we're really sensitive to light, as you know, fire dragons. I just went to sleep outside of your window, and when your light turned off, that woke me up. And so then I was I proceeded about doing what I was going to do. Yeah, it was pretty good. So like, thankfully, I, I have 95 versions of this uniform, so therefore I do not smell. But like, yeah. yeah. So like, I thought I thought about just staying up all night and waiting for you to fall asleep, but I was like, you know, you've been really restless lately. So I thought I would be the most presentable this morning if I got enough sleep. So I just I just crashed oh, next yeah. to your window. It's fine. Yeah, the, the sun went down. I was good. Yeah, there's no problem. Yep. Anyway. I, I, we get to see that side. Poof! The other boys appeared in the room. The door. Okay, I, I just, really poof. do need to ask. None of the other guys have interrupted nearly as much. As Phoenix gets interrupted. As, as Phoenix either gets interrupted or like his his sections are like. I'm also way. like, we have a bookshelf. We do. Apparently. Since when? We finally get to see this side of our room, and there's a bookshelf. I. Why didn't we know? Also, like. Those like look like they could be art books and things. Ooh. I kind of maybe love somebody that. went and took a picture of a Burns and Noble and went, "I got it." I got it. Maybe. Hi. Hello. Hi. Huh. Oh yeah. Yeah. Small. Huh. Tillin and Rye stop at the sight of all the flowers. Stunned. Phoenix well, did not that. close the door, and now I'm here in my dressing gown and my robe and the flower on my wrist. And uh, all right, cool. And now there's three boys in my bedroom trying not to step on the flowers on the floor. Both of them peeking in the door. They're just like, they see him and they immediately shoof in because, wah! And then they're like, flowers, shit, flowers. Oh, flowers, flowers, don't step in. <clears throat> oh, Phoenix, you didn't. And you're not stepping on them, right? Right? Right. My be very presence. careful my with my space. gifts. Because I don't mess up your gifts and I help drive your damn carriage, so you know. Uh, right, oh, right, right, right. Yeah, so I uh, forgot. Yeah. I, um, Again, like I really do. Like I hate to say, this, I remember. Like, I cannot I helped... put it down because it bothers me. I'm like, uh -huh. you really don't like right. No. Like there is a weird little. You can pick whoever you want. Yeah, you so can I pick whoever like you want. So I feel like if you but... were gonna play this game three times, your most likely progression is gonna be you're gonna pick Dylan, then you're gonna pick Ryan, then you're gonna pick Phoenix because you want to know. Right. Like I feel like that's the intention here. Now it's not necessarily going to happen that way, but I feel like that's kind of how it is because of course the first time around you're gonna be like, but the one who spent his entire life basically learning and working for everything about right. me. And then the second one going, but but Rye was a fan of which mine and he knew go, me as a person. Like I said, which could go it could so go very badly. bad. Oh All right, God. you didn't. Like, come on a little strong, aren't you? Compared to whom, I would Mister, ask you. Mister, I'm gonna go take you with a horse and carriage and I'm gonna go wander off and say, I'm a normal 
person I with my stupid fa- bitchy plantation house. Yeah. Are you fucking kidding me? I do the whole fairy lights thing all across the entire street. Like, like really? Oh my god, you're like, yeah, I went a little far. Do you realize how long you spent putting those damn lights up and how you had like half of your staff helping you do it? Also, by the way, Mr. Dylan, those sandwiches, you did not make them all yourself. And well, acquire <laughs> all the ingredients by yourself and get all packed to the picnic basket just in time for tomorrow's lunchtime. I would help you scout out that area, do you remember? And all y'all are now stepping on my goddamn flowers. And I burnt off the goddamn bugs before you got there. All right, fine, don't step <laughs> on my goddamn flowers. <laughs> Excuse me for fighting for what I want. Bitch. It really is what oh. I was, I wonder also though, actually, if there's a lot of people go, I feel bad for you, so I will pick you. Uh-huh. Because it does seem like, again, that he is the one who's getting kicked behind sort of more and more. Like again, I feel like that, that would be the sort of progression. Right. And again, um, but that, that you're, this one's the underdog. It's really weird, but it's like, so there is <clears throat> potentially, and I'm not going to say really like, like to me at least, like mm-hmm. you have what you have with Dylan is basically somebody who knows you inside and out emotionally and mentally. Assumed, which is a bunch of bullcrap. I'm gonna say assumed because Ass- he also seemingly didn't know anything about your upbringing or the fact that you didn't know who you or what you are. Which is weird as hell. I'm gonna know everything about you, but then this one thread of this other dragon princess would completely throw that off because that would also mean number one, his parents had no goddamn idea, and then neither did he. And then like somebody's lying. Oh, it's like it doesn't work at all. Or it's again, like, you can have the elders going, it doesn't, we know she's not valid, it doesn't matter, we're not actually seriously considering this, we're just going, yes, we'll follow legal process, that's fine. Right. Like, they really are, we know you're a fucking bullshitter, it doesn't matter, we just will do the legal process, you've started the nuisance lawsuit, you can follow it through. That's fine, you can do your slap suit. Uh Uh-huh, we'll just watch her slay you, it's fine, that might be fun anyways. Yay, because that's what that deserves, is death. Yeah, uh, yeah, death. I was going to say, but him not knowing that you didn't know is a huge problem there, going, yeah. Uh, he wouldn't have, and again, going, I was preparing to be useful to you, and going, okay, but you wouldn't know what kind of usefulness she would need if you didn't know that she didn't know. Right, okay, so again, anyway. so, so, so the Dylan's focus is going to be basically, I think, more emotional uh, compared to, like, Rai, where Rai is more financially stable, and Phoenix is just fun. I guess Phoenix is fun and kind of sexy sometimes. I guess. They really do back off on the sexiness of everyone, though. Like, it's not a lot about sexy. Like, she keeps mentioning attractive hot boys, but they're really... But they're so, like, distinguishing... Like, a lot of tension or, like, like strength, and this is what's sexy about them. Right, yeah, there's no, like, moments of going, like, you know, I just watch the way his arms move, you know, or, like, listen... Or his hips are so close to mine. Uh Uh-huh. Or, God, the way that shirt falls on him. Or just even those moments of you just write them being close to you and how intense that feels like. Uh Uh-huh. They write it more in a romance overwhelm sense rather right. than any kind of sexual response. I think honestly in that way I'm kind of like I get where like romance I, I guess like even for me like I get frustrated hearing the stupid line of going where individuals who have ever been raised uh, as or identify as women are only interested in romance. That's like sex. I actually heard that from people going you don't understand just how much men want sex and think about I'm physicality like, oh and my I'm god like, women like sex women want sex. Now, this or not, individuals this who have ever even been put uh, under that. Women but at again, all. people, generally, sexual people like sex. I think the biggest like, thing, though, though, as oh far as I can tell, one of the biggest reasons why that comes up, though, is going, like, when basically your whole life, as far as I've ever seen, and has because I have participated in women culture, I was uh-huh. raised as one, but that doesn't mean I have ever really identified as one. Ever, right. It is this thing, it's just going, like, your whole life, it is all about basically protecting yourself, it feels like, from sex, or basically being aware of sex. And controlling Trusting yourself about, about sex. sex. Yeah, that's Like, me. what do you think the whole version culture bullshit thing is about like that is like the supposed deep like they try to make it romantic where guys just go it doesn't mean that much in my experience because they don't have that kind of pressure basically that level of social expectation so wherever it goes oh women are only just interested in romance I feel like is a lie because when you've been socialized your entire fucking life to just care about romance and that sex is this giant and anxiety inducing like basically plague ridden morality monster right and also going you will instantly become pregnant if it's with a specific pair of bodies that are involved. Or just you know, going, like, if you do the bad sex, you will become pregnant and be right? punished. You'll be punished for having sex by pregnant. And you're like, right? 
creating another human being is a punishment for me trying to actually have a good time or experience more connection. Right? Or going that I can't even do things to avoid creating another human being. Nope, nope you're not just, allowed. Like, not completely allowed to have any control or have sex for enjoyment. Like, that's the thing is, like, that's bothered me the most, too, is being like, sex isn't about enjoyment at all. It's always for someone else or to make someone else, which pisses me okay, off. That There's is generally no... the narrative that I have been fed as a woman. It's yes. not about you feeling good or you having a good time. It is about a bonding experience between two people. And, and going, guys get to just have sex because it feels good. I guess. And uh, Which so anyway, me off, so. in the case of this, I'm going. If you wanted Phoenix to be the sexy one, the sexual over-sexualized one, have him be more sexy. Yeah. Have it be more about sex. Now this could be where basically the audience your game is directed to. But, but I'm at the also same time, like... I don't think the game is directed towards children. They're like like preteens. Right. I think it's more directed towards teens and older. I would imagine. I... But I could be wrong. Right. Well, anyway. I mean, the thing is, is that like as long as it's on like the App Store, I think it has to be at least 13 plus anyway. Yeah. Um. So it can't be for like super small kids unless you specifically, I think, get like Google Play like for kids or whatever it is. I mean, you can have those, but it'd be, it will, like, I don't think you're limited to how, because it can be rated for everyone. Right. But, but you have to rate it still, if it's older. But you yeah. have to rate it if it's older. Right. Right. But, yeah, I don't know. Like, anyway. Uh, this is a long and complicated thing. Please feel free to tell us your thoughts on this. Because, yeah. again, like, this is just our exposure, and obviously I'm queer, so I don't know how I work in terms of, like, for basically gender identifying, I'm yes. queer. Um, and then my friend identifies completely as a woman and always has. So that's a different experience, and so these are mostly our thoughts. If you yep. have anything to add, for sure, it would be interesting. Additionally, as we get towards what we assume is the end of this game, because of how it's running into harder and harder timelines, etc., right. we'd be interested in your analysis of their characters, or if you feel like we, we, you're in the same place we are. Like, if you feel like that's what I interpreted as well, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, we always like to hear from you guys. Yes, absolutely. And also, if you like what we do, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe on more on top of that. It's not yes. just about this. We appreciate hearing from you guys in general. This yes. isn't just about, you know, what Whatever. And also, anything really does help because we are also trying to be seen. That is not to put pressure on you. It's just sort of a thing of where we're like, I can't do it without you kind of thing. It is. <laughs> but this is a kind of sort of a group effort kind of thing. Additionally, we are trying to build more of a group. It's been really fun to watch people interact with yeah. each other and just, yeah, share ideas and things like that. Yes, absolutely. And also, if you like what we do in, in a way that you'd also want to support us more, please feel free to go check out our Ko-Fi and our Patreon. We've got some links in the description down below. And other than that, though, I have been Scandal. And I have been Lies. And, and it was, was great, great playing, playing with you. you. Bye! Bye.